People not knowing the, the history of the word half-caste, that was just the words they used to describe you. I am Nigerian-Irish and I'm from Dublin and I work as an actor. I didn't mean to touch it. You knew I was going to find a gun down a hole like that. You won't say anything, will you? Well, here's something for you. The gun is clean. There's no prints on it. No, it can't be. What you're starting to see, I suppose, in call sheets and, and auditions, it's uh, women of any ethnicity as opposed to a certain ethnicity. They don't want to have you there, like I said, to be the token, but it's just that we don't care. We just want any kind of look as long as she can do the work. I think I was very lucky because we went to, say, like an Educate Together school. We went to like a national school, so we went to one of the rare ones that wasn't associated with, say, the Catholic Church at all. You didn't practice any religion, but you studied about all, re you studied all religions and you learned about all of them. And you celebrated different cultures. You celebrated like three different types of Christmases and Diwali. I think it was when I, I got a bit older and say I went to like an all-girls Catholic secondary school or just kind of went out into the world a bit more, I kind of realised like, oh, not everybody grows up this way and not everybody is exposed to this. People not knowing the, the history of the word half-caste, that was just the words they used to describe you. Um, and them just not seeing anything wrong with that, that was just the word to describe somebody that was a uh, mixed race. And you, you kind of like in those situations, you're like, you're sitting there with your friends and they'd say this or they'd say like a word to describe like a race of people or they met this kind of person today and you're kind of sitting there like I'm gonna have to make a choice about this like I'm gonna have to tell you that this isn't right but at the same time I think you have to be very careful that you don't want to make someone on the defensive and say that they're wrong but just kind of like show them that maybe that this is the kind of way of putting this and actually this is offensive because of this you know it's not just about saying that you know, turning around to somebody and saying that what they're saying is wrong. Sometimes you're also questioning their identity and their foundation because that's what they've been taught by their parents. And by saying that they're wrong, you're also saying that their parents are wrong. So they can get very, very defensive. The question of you're not really Irish. Where are you really from? And you get that here. Um, and I think you kind of come to the point where it's, it's, it's not an offensive thing. You're just going, well, actually, I'm a bit of this and it's, it's okay to ask that. It kind of depends. Sometimes you can get an idea of how people are asking, like what's their tone, what's the energy, like why do they want to know. It doesn't affect you like day to day, I find myself, because most of the time people recognise me as, as, as white and I have to be aware of that too. I had a very different experience than say my friends that are recognised as black and I kind of have to check myself that way because even though like I, I identify as being mixed race, sometimes it's about the treatment you get that, that, that makes it different.